these grounds are way too coarse. I don't think they're fine enough to pull this espresso, but let's try it out anyway. Yeah, channeled and it's it's not looking like well pulled espresso. Let's try again. I've been trying to find a grind size that'll produce fine enough uh, for brewing espresso. So I'm just going to distribute it as evenly as possible, tamp it with my OG Intelligentsia Black Cat Tamper. See how the shot pulls. And it's channeling all over the place. Going to stop. Channeling galore. You know, you take. You take all this for granted when you get a job as a barista in a commercial environment without ever having to go through any of the trials and tribulations of owning a prosumer machine like this. Try it out. Tap it down. Run it. Cheers. I'll try it out just for the sake of gauging how much closer I'm getting. I'm kidding. This reminds me of the first couple days on the Rancho Silvia. It's bringing it all back. It's not a bad looking puck. I'm going to use this cold coffee that's been out for 15 minutes and try to produce latte art with it. So this goes in here. I'm 
not sure if I stretched the milk enough, especially for the watery consistency of the espresso that we pulled in. But let's just try it out anyway. Because this is like, this is probably like 100 grams of coffee in this cup right now. It's not terrible. Let's see if I could get the camera to focus. The drip tray on the Sylvia is the shallowest of any machine I've ever seen. I don't know what they expect you to do with this. I'm gonna have to toss this out. <laughs> 